When you have between two and maybe seven elements, depending on the, your screen resolution, uh, to, of items to pick from, a great tool to use that users really enjoy interacting with is called a spinner. The spinner tool is located in the user interface and can be dragged onto your, um, your, your phone or your IDE by just grabbing the spinner, clicking and dragging it. There's a couple of different ways to load elements into your spinner and the easiest way is just to list the items separated by a comma. and that will load up your spinner with the items and when you click on those items you'll see that the um, items will be in the list and the user when by clicking on the spinner can pick the item and when they select the item or click on it with their finger that item will be the selection that the user makes and again they can open it there make a selection and switch the selection that way you can also load the elements using code and the easiest way to do this is to create a list um, and I've called my list load spinner and I've loaded it with a bunch of items and the probably the best place to load those items to set those elements is in the screen initialization event and you can just at the screen initialization initialization event get the load um, spinner list but it, well, since I'm using an emulate or, um, since I'm running an emulator um, and I and the only time the emulator will fire is when the screens initialized I'm going to just put this code into the um, slider one position change event so that you can see it activated when I change the position of the slider it does reload the list and you can see in this list I have purposely placed eight elements which is beyond the number of elements that can be supported on the screen this screen can support seven elements in order to get at those elements you have to scroll which is really awkward on a phone scrolling is challenging on a phone so um, for example if I pick this item um, it, it would show that item so what the point I'm making is that you probably want to keep it to um, be aware of the width of the phone um, in the number of items you select for this phone between two and seven would probably be the ideal number of items to place on your spinner. The way you get information from your spinner is you can call the spinner to display at any time. You can also have an event fire after the spinner has been selected which is the most common way to get data from the spinner. I could load it into this uh, label. I could set the label um, text to be whatever the spinner um, the spinner selection is by getting the selection and now I can set the spinner text to be whatever the um, text is here by using the after selecting um, code found in the spinner component.